Just three short years ago, we visited John Andretti at his lakefront home in North Carolina. He had just been diagnosed with colon cancer, and the race to save his life was just starting. We chatted during one of his endless treatments about the road ahead. Chemo sucks. Chemo, chemo sucks a lot. I don't think anybody walks out going, man, this is great. Give me more. <laughs> John Andretti always had that personality that made others feel comfortable around him. He never let circumstances change him, even in the midst of his battle against cancer. I'm going to have skinny arms, skinny legs, and be bald. I'll be perfect. <laughs> You're ready for that. You still have your sense of humor, though, I can tell. Does that yeah. help you get through this? Yeah, I mean, uh, it is what it is, you know. I mean, you always think it's always somebody else. He turned his cancer into a campaign to help others by asking men to get colonoscopies. The hashtag, check it for Andretti, was displayed on race cars. And thousands of fans took his advice to get tested for colon cancer. You like race cars? You like racing? John always had a heart for those in need. He loved kids, especially sick kids. He raised millions and millions of dollars for Raleigh Hospital for Children through his annual go-kart race, which started back in 1997. Looking at my situation, if I feel sorry for me, then when I go and look at these kids that we've seen at St. Jude and see Riley Hospital for Children and people that we're trying to help, how can I be, you know, I can't be down or resentful or anything. I mean, it's just, it's the way life is. His son, Jared, is carrying on John's mission, raising money for children. The first thing he said is he didn't want anything that was happening with him to take away from the race for Riley. That was one of the first things he's, when he started to go public with what, was, what he was doing. And I don't think that, that he's used that to help Riley even more. And I think that that's um, an amazing characteristic that he's done. And he's tried to turn this negative into a positive. On the racetrack, John was a fierce competitor. He raced in 12 Indianapolis 500s and nearly 400 NASCAR races over 17 years. But for John, his prize accomplishment was his family. His home office was about them, not about him. My little Amelia and Olivia. The one on the right is Jared. Last year was his first sprint car win. A true family man who happened to drive race cars for a living. We believe in God. I mean, we, we're not people that go out and preach it and stuff, but we are strong believers. And so I think from that standpoint, you look at it and say, I mean, there's a plan with everything. You know, is this part of his plan of, you know, hey, you need to, you need to really understand what's going on. And, you know, in this stage of my life, I mean, it's, if it was going to happen, now is better. You know, I've done all my stuff. I mean, I've got to do a lot of things I love to do. John Andretti was just 56 years old. May he rest in peace.